Welcome to another episode of Free Plugin Friday, the series where we check out a free plugin, you guessed it, every Friday. And today we take a look at a free autotune plugin called M Auto Pitch by Melda Productions. My name is Matt Flank, let's get started. So this is what M Auto Pitch looks like. I'm going to show you how this plugin works on this little vocal that I have recorded for a song that I worked on recently. So let's just jump straight into it. First we have the scale selector which allows us to select the scale which the song is in. So for example if I were in A pentatonic I would click pentatonic and then A. And as you can see now the notes on the keyboard have changed. I can also add or remove notes manually by just cl simply clicking on them. My song is an F sharp minor so I would click minor and then F sharp and now I'm in the right key. Then let's take a look at the automatic tuning. There is also manual tuning which allows us to use MIDI input, but we will take a look at that later. So depth is basically how accurate the auto tuning is. If it is at 100% it will sound almost robot-like. Let's take a listen. Looking for pleasure. Let's turn it down a bit. Looking for pleasure. You can immediately hear the difference. And if you combine that with the speed knob, which allows us to change how fast the plugin corrects our pitch, we will almost get that rapper-like feel. Looking for pleasure. You can also see a visual representation of the correcting down here. Next up, the tune allows us to detune the entire thing by minus 100 or plus 100 cents. Let's take a listen. Looking for or down. Looking for pleasure. Let's set it back to zero by double clicking on the knob, typing in our value, and clicking OK. And then bass allows us to change the bass pitch of the plugin, and unless you are using a different tuning system, you probably don't want to change this. I'm not, so I'm gonna leave it at 440 Hz. Next up, let's take a look at the dry wet knob. This allows us to mix the dry signal with the wet signal. I don't know what it is at by default, but I am currently having it set to 100% wet. And that is because I only want the auto-tune signal for this song. And since you can adjust both wet and dry and combine them to have parallel processing, we can get this vocal doubling effect by setting it to 100% wet and 100% dry because the phase will start to mess with each other. Looking for pleasure. Then width allows us to have a difference between the left and right stereo channel in sense to give it that wide sound. Let's turn it up a bit. Looking for pleasure. Let's set it back to zero and take a look at the key performance. Basically what this does is it makes it more natural, but if you want a more in-detail explanation of what Keyformance does, you can click the question mark right here and read for yourself what it does. You have these question marks all over the plugin by the way, so if you want to know anything just click the question mark and an explanation will pop up. Then Formant Shifting allows us to shift the Formant information. This will not result in a change in pitch, but it might give us that Mickey Mouse-like effect. Looking for pleasure. Looking for pleasure. You can see it changes the tone of my voice. If I turn it down, my voice will start sounding deeper without changing the pitch. Looking for and if I turn it up, my voice will sound higher without changing the pitch. Looking for pleasure. So that's it for the basic controls. And before we take a look at the utilities on the right, which are a little bit more advanced, let's take a look at something else that is pretty cool. If you go into the settings, it opened on my second screen there, and we then take a look at style, we can change the look of this plugin by customizing the colors. So if I would like my background color to be different, I can just change it like this, as you can see. So let's say I want a gray background, I can just do this, and boom. If I don't like the pink highlights, I might want some green highlights, 
let's say let's change it and now i have green highlights and the plugin looks now completely different which is really nice okay now let's take a look at the utilities on the right of the plugin this is a little bit more advanced but i will try to explain it clearly on the bottom here you have a very tiny button and if you click that you get the option to choose between meters and toolbar let's first take a look at the meters I think by default you will see this, which is just the input and output gain of the meters. And if you click stereo right here, you can also see the width of the steer of the signal in percent. If I play my vocal right here, Looking for you can see it's completely mono, but if I turn up the width for example, it will become stereo. Looking for pleasure. Then we can also pause the meters by clicking this button and this will freeze it in case you want to check something. You can also make the meters a separate window by clicking this button and now you can move it around on its own. Let's just close this so it will become back into the plugin. And then we can change the metering from, the from this view to the horizontal metering view. Let's take a listen and see what is going on. Looking for pleasure. We can change the direction in which this draws, draws the signal by pressing this button. And we can use the plus and minus to change the speed. Looking for pleasure. Fight against terror. Just like this. We can also change the way the graph displays the frequencies by clicking this button and here we get a lot more features. I will not go over all of them but you can take a look at that for, for yourself. Now let's take a look at the toolbar which, uh, which we open by clicking this button again and then going to toolbar. These letters basically allow us to have different presets for the plugin but I don't know in which ex to which extent you can save them because we are obviously using the free version of the plugin. So if you run into limitation, you will have to buy a subscription to activate the plugin. This is not sponsored, but I'm just pointing it out. Then we can also use this to AB compare or CD compare for that matter. We can also turn on the limiter in case we want to make our sound real loud, but we don't want it to clip. Then we have automatic gain compensation, which turns up the output gain of the plugin in case we lose some volume by changing any of these settings. Then we have the L plus R here. And if you click this, another menu opens up, which allows us to select what channel is being processed. For example, we can select only the left channel, the right channel, mid and sides, surround, just like that. Then by clicking this little button, we can open a morphing view which allows us to morph between the different settings we make in this plugin. This is very in-depth, but I can definitely see people doing some crazy things with this. Then these little buttons allow us to copy or paste settings from different selections. So for example, if I, if I want to change the settings from E and copy them to F, let's just adjust some things so you can see. I can now copy them, go to F, paste, and now my settings from E and F are exactly the same. Then we have this button right here, which allows us to undo or redo our changes. And then by clicking MIDI, we can select the MIDI controller that we have selected to change the pitch tracking using a MIDI input. So for example, if I play a C on my MIDI keyboard and then sing, the auto tuning will snap to the C. Then lastly, we can also import an audio file and process it in the plugin itself, which is a pretty nice feature. So that is it for M Auto Pitch. If you have any more questions about this plugin or if something isn't clear, make sure to let me know in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos by me, consider subscribing. I make content about free plugins, tutorials, making music and more. If you like this video, leave a like to support me and this channel. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Matt Flank. Peace out.